with Dr. Kazard um, and his lawyer um, and clarify um, the provisions in our lease. And we were able to come up, um, specifically come up with how the, the square footage in the lease was calculated, um, what the actual rent or rental rate is. Um, and so we were able to sit down and clarify uh, how much Dr. Kazard owes us and when he is going to pay. I know in the paper and there were claims that uh, there were some discrepancies, but Dr. Kazart um, does owe us rent. Um, he acknowledged that. And we were able to come to an agreement um, about that. And so he was also agreed to, to, to pay that. We were able to sit down and clarify um, some of those, those, those perceived discrepancies uh, in regards to the, those numbers. So, very time one was supposed to pay? Yes. Then we will continue to move forward with the provisions in the lease um, where uh, you could evict them eventually. And again, when we talk about eviction, let's let's not let's not talk about anything okay. forward. That that gets us into a right. yeah. we, we can only talk about what we need. Yeah. That's correct, yes. I'm sorry, that's correct. So, but we were able to you can show the numbers. The, all this was recorded in agreement with the court for its public record. So I think it's for the, the board to know exactly what he owes us and when he's going to pay us. Okay. And that's, again, it's public record. Okay. So by February 1st, um, I mean, totally, Dr. Kazar owes us $12,443.92. How what? $12,443. And he's agreed to, by February 1st, pay us uh, $4,370 by February 1st. And what? $4,370.92 by February 1st. And then by March 1st, uh, he's agreed to pay um, $8,073. Plus his March rent. Yes. I'm sorry. So by March 1st, it would be $8,073. But it would be March 1st, so the March rent will be due. March 1st rent will be due. 1,087.30. Yes. Which is party 370.32? Yes, ma'am, that's correct. Uh, one of the there was an addition with the taxes. We were not paying taxes on the space, although the lease requires that we pay taxes, and he was paying a portion of his rent for that. We have squared that up with the appraisal district. They're sending a tax notification for the last two years. Once we have that, we agree we'll reconcile with him. We think we overcharged him in ten, and undercharged him eleven. It's going to wash out to be immaterial. But you know, we'll settle up if we agree on it. Within 30 days, once we receive it, Julie has worked with the tax. The present district, we owe the money. It's just something that slipped by everybody, including them. They'll be sending us a notice in the next quarter because that was also part of the agreement. So, at, at, at the end of the day, the, the lease agreement tended to be cleaned up and everybody was in agreement Correct. to the terms. Is that so? Everybody, the, the rental route, the square footage, the taxing issue. All that stuff. So there's no dispute at the end of the day. Right. Now this this was read into the record. Uh, we still have to, and it's public record, and his attorney and our attorney agreed to it. It's, it's been agreed to. But then we had until the 13th of February to get it reduced to writing, and both parties sign it, and the judge approve it. And if, if we don't get it done by then, then we go back on the 13th of February, we go back in front of the judge and explain to her why we weren't able to. But he, he's in agreement. Uh, we sat across the table. It was good discussion. And he wants to stay. And we don't, yes, yes. we don't we want him to stay. We just want him to pay his rent. And um, so we, we don't anticipate any problems. Uh, not, they're not been able to draft it yet, but we'll send it over to the 